Dixie beer. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. It is the 3rd of July, the day before Independence Day in America. Or as we like to call the 3rd of July, Dependence Day. It was the day we said to America, listen, you're getting far too old, you've got to go out in the world and make it on your own. And there you go, that's what happened. And it didn't stop us from burning the uh, White House down in 1812, but that is another story. I'm not really a historian, by the way, so I wouldn't uh, bank on anything I say historical. So uh, this is uh, Dixie beer. This was bought from, I think, was it Beer Sniffers? I think it was Beer Sniffers I got this from. And yeah, it's American beer from the deep south, New Orleans, NOLA, New Orleans, Louisiana, whatever you want to call it. But the annoying thing, Apart from the fucking dog barking, is uh, this is brewed in the UK. That's disappointing because, well, is it disappointing? The original Dixie beer is brewed with rice. And I'm looking on the back here, and it says ingredients, water, malted barley, hops and yeast. Not a mention of rice. Rice is quite a common adjunct that's added uh, to substitute the malt or grain bill um, I personally am not a fan of it. I think it's a cheap way out. Um, I understand why people do it, or brewers do it. Um, it's quite common in, um, you know, uh, the Far East. And the reason that is, malt isn't as in abundance as it is in North America and Europe. Why, and when I say North America, you know, I mean, you know, the, south, the southern states as well. Why are they feel they need to put rice in their beer when they have millions of acres of arable land? I do not know, but that is just what they do. Budweiser do it, and I just think it's a major, major cop out. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, the Dixie Brewery, it was, as I say, it's based in New Orleans. It was destroyed in Hurricane Katrina in 2005. And it was only um, resurrected, I think it was in 2017, by someone called Tom Benson. No, not the organist from Sale of the Century, if you're that old and you remember it. Um, he's the owner of the American football. When, that, when I say football, I mean that game they, they throw, throw ball. Um, the New Orleans Saints, he's the owner of that. He died recently, I think it was 2017, I think but his wife has taken it over. I've literally, just this minute, gone onto the website to have a look, and there's a big statement on there, and it is so fucking wordy. Um, it says, in the current climate, we like to be inclusive, etc., etc. So you get the gist. They're gonna change the name of Dixie. Now, the reason they're doing that is uh, Dixie, or, you know, the old song, Dixieland, I don't know whether you're familiar with it. If you are, look it up. Um, it was a big uh, Confederate anthem, or Confederate Army anthem, back during the American Civil War. And it was originally um, written for a minstrel show, you know, where they used to black the faces up and all that. Now, I'm not getting into fucking politics on this channel. Politics does not belong on this channel. I don't give a fuck what your politics are, what you believe in. It's not going to I'm not mentioning it here, right? There's going to be no political discussion. You can just fuck off with your politics. It's ruining far too many good channels. It's ruined Twitter. It's ruined Facebook. I'm going to try and make it so it doesn't ruin this channel. But for whatever reason, they're changing the name of the beer. So I'm probably going to keep this bottle because you won't be able to buy a Dixie beer. And, you know, you never know. In years to come, it may be worth something. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get the beer open and let's see what's going on.
Right, as I say, this is uh, a bottle of Dixie beer, slow brewed, don't know what that means. Slow brewed, <laughs> you know. I'm not gonna get into a philosophical, philosophical conversation about time. Um, it's very bad, the, the font on here is very bad. I mean, they put lemon yellow on a white background. I, even with my fucking dodgy bins, I can't see that. Um, it's New Orleans, slow brewed, Dixie beer on the back. Slow brewed beer, UK craft brewed for Peerhead Drinks Limited, peerhead.co.uk, uh, peerheaduk.com. Ingredients, water, malted barley, hops and yeast, 330ml bottle, 4.5%. That is all there is to it. Let's get it open and let's see what's in the bottle. Off with a cap. And here is the cap. Very simplistic. Like the label, it is just a D. Red and green D. On the nose, out of the bottle. Not a great deal. There is some malt on there. Oh yeah, hang on. Some lemon. Lemon citrus coming from there now as well. Some hoppy notes, bitter hoppy notes. It smells just like a normal run of the mill lager. Let's get it in the glass, see what's going on. Jesus Christ, the state of this glass. This glass doesn't like being washed. I've got some new dishwasher tablets. So hopefully we will not see a repeat of all the other shit on my other glasses where the bubbles are sticking to the side. And to be fair, that isn't too bad. Um, there it is in the glass. It doesn't look, look at the fucking state of that, look. Is that, oh no, that's, that's the actual rim on the glass. Um, there it is in the glass. Now these apparently, in New Orleans, these were, or are, brewed in, or stored, they're lagered in cypress wood barrels. Don't know what difference that makes, but there you go. Ton of carbonation in it, half finger head. Now as I say, there's no rice in this, according to the label. So, um, I am just gonna take this for what it is. I'm not gonna say this is indicative of Dixie Lager, but if you're in the UK, this is the Dixie Lager you will be drinking. Cheers. That's weird. That's got some <coughs> that's got some really floral notes on it. Wonder what wonder what hops they're using with that. The carbonation is a bit obtrusive in the mouth. I have to say, that's the first thing I'm noticing with this. Um, it doesn't smell that bad, but it's very sweet. There's a, there's a sweetness to it, which is unnerving me. I'm wondering what it is. I'm assuming that's the malt. Now, I'm only going by the ingredients. There's no, no nasties in there. It's malt with barley, hops, yeast, and water. But there is this, a distinct sweetness in that. And to be fair, it's not unpleasant. In fact, I quite like this. I was ready to bash this. And when I saw on the website that it had rice in it, you know, that's what they brew it in America with, I was gonna pan this. And then as I read the label, I saw it was brewed in the UK. And to be honest, this UK craft brewed for Peerhead drinks. Now I tried to, um, 
I tried to look up Pearhead drinks. They've gone into liquidation. I think that happened in 2019. They used to uh, they used to import a lot of uh, stuff, and there's a there's a, a a case on on the website of uh, HMRC versus uh, Pearhead drinks. They've obviously got up to something they shouldn't have done, and um, yeah, they've gone into liquidation. So, not only is Dixie beer going to be no more, the people who brew it and distribute it over in the UK are no more. So, I'm definitely keeping hold of this bottle. Um, as for the beer, I have to say, that is not a bad beer. <clears throat> They've said it's craft brewed. And to be honest, if I got that in a can with a fancy craft beer label on it, uh, I'd say, yeah, not a bad effort. This isn't bad at all. It's got a really nice malty sweetness to it, which doesn't taste artificial at all. If it, Even if it is, and they haven't put it on here, I, I can't tell the difference. It doesn't taste like it's been artificially sweetened. Sweetened. That just tastes like really sweet malt, which is nice, I have to say. Yeah, not bad. Can't complain. So what's the verdict? Well, <laughs> this is just mired in controversy. The name, the people who distribute it in the UK, um, but all that aside, this isn't a bad beer. I quite like this lager. It's got a nice sweet malty finish. Yeah, there's there's a lemon citrus running through it, and you've got you know the usual cold lager taste. But there is a lovely sweet back end on this from the malt, <clears throat> and it does make it stand out. This, I'd imagine, tastes better than the stuff in America because the stuff in America is brewed with rice. As far as I can tell, and obviously on the back of the label, it doesn't taste like that. So that is a bonus for me. And on its own, regardless of the name, the company, whatever, this isn't a bad beer. Do you know what? I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. That is quite a nice lager. And I don't bandy that about sort of normally. Usually these sort of run-of-the-mill lagers. I mean, this is quite a, a well-known brand in, in uh, the States. You know, they, they, you can see this in certain films and whatnot. But it isn't a bad beer, this. No complaints. It's a, it's a really nice, sweet malt back end. Mm, tastes nice. Eight out of 10, recommended. If you're gonna get one, be quick, because you won't be seeing this much longer. I got this on Beer Sniffers, or was it Beers of Europe? Look on both sites, it'll be on there. But get it if you wanna get some, because it will be gone soon, never to return. And remember, beer is working class champagne.